Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I am playing around with Jellic again. So if you'd seen my previous video, this is a new aqua gel from Nail Necessities called Jellic. Um, so it's similar to, um, so like a poly gel, something like that, a brand like that. Um, they're both aqua gels. Um, these are the colors I'm gonna be using today. So I am a big acrylic fan and I want to see if this stuff will be able to do what acrylic can. So today I thought I would try out an encapsulated rose. So here goes. <laughs> so um, you've prepped your nail, dehydrated, primed, etc. Uh, we're going in now with a thin layer of base coat and this will get cured in the lump for 60 seconds. So for the base of the nail, I've used Rose. This is, you will have seen me use Tutu in a previous video. This is a slightly deeper pink. Actually, it's quite, quite a, a darker pink compared to Tutu. So I've got Tutu on my nails in this video and you can see how the difference. So I'm just placing this on the nail I don't know if you're supposed to do that, I just don't like waste. <laughs> so again, I've got my Dappen dish with some IPA in it, isopropyl alcohol. I'm never sure I get that right, so I just say IPA. Um, I have um, just got the, it's literally just a damp brush, and I'm literally going to put a thin layer of this rose all over the base of the nail, because this is gonna be my base color. And I obviously don't want to make it too high because I want to try and create an encapsulated rose. So I'm happy with my layer of rose. So I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. So you can see this is where we're at. <clears throat> I'm now going to use the cotton. This is the natural white. And I'm going to just take a small bead of this. And like I would a um, an acrylic rose, I'm just going to put small little beads of this onto the nail, and I'm going to try and push the gelic out like I would a normal acrylic rose. And I wanted to just push the sides in just to give the petal a little bit of shape. And then I will then cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds before I move on to the next one. So, I mean, I got to this part, this point, and I thought, yeah, that's actually not a bad start at all. So I went on to petal number two. Literally done the same thing with my damp brush. Molded it how I would an acrylic petal. And again, I shaped the outside edge, cured that for 60 seconds. So it was from this point it started to go a bit wrong. So again, I got my <laughs> upper bead and so yeah, I ended up wiping it off because it wouldn't come off. <laughs> and then oh, this petal just didn't want to shape nicely. I don't know why. I think I perhaps just got lucky with the first two. And so it wasn't too bad in the end. Again, I cured between each petal. I can't remember now if, I think I went straight in to do the middle. This was the really trickiest bit because I didn't have any smaller gel brushes I had a similar gel brush, but it wasn't a lot smaller. So what I tried to do was create that donut shape. This is a slightly different brush that I've got. It is a gel brush, but it's like a cheapy one that, oh no, now I'm back to my other gel brush. I did swap and 
change between the two but I tried to create that donut shape and then um, push one of the you know like you make a kind of split in it and then you push one of the ends round and I mean it all looked a little bit messy come the end of it <laughs> I also used the end of the tool the other end of the spatula end to try and see I mean oh, it's not the best look you can kind of tell it's a rose but it's not great so I cured it for 60 seconds I lost the ring I mean if that was on the top I'd be like disgusted oh I'd be like no um then I I'm gonna encapsulate that rose with the tickled jellic, which is the sheer pink. I did take quite a lot. Um, but not enough, I don't think. So I'm just literally gonna cover the nail in this tickled, making sure that I sort of try and create my nail shape etc I think I ended up getting another bead yes I did another bead just to finish the end so again all I can say is thank goodness for a hand file <laughs> oh dear so I cured this after I had finished you know Pratting around with the um, the gelic, and then I will use my gel residue wipe off solution just to remove that tacky layer. And then I went ahead and filed it. And as I filed it, I kind of filed through some of the the cotton, and actually it ended up looking quite a nice rose. And then just to finish it off, I wanted to place some of these little AB crystals from Nail Sugar. So I placed them at the cuticle area. Look how nice they are. I always worry they don't look as nice on the camera as they do in real life, but they are really lovely. So I'm using my Chiara Sky base as always to adhere the crystals. And I've got a little wax pencil that I use to pick up my crystals to place them onto the nail. So once I've done at the cuticle area, I'm just going to make like a whirly line underneath the rose to go down towards the free edge. Sometimes I take so long trying to find crystals that I think that the uh, Chiara Sky base is probably set before I'm ready. <laughs> oh dear. So, I mean, I was really ha quite happy with how this nail turned out. Yes, it was really fiddly, but I was using the top coat from Jellic to top coat the nail. So yeah, it was fiddly, but you can still achieve an encapsulated rose nail. So I think that is another thumbs up for Jellic from me. So when I top coat, because it's got crystals on, I'm going to butt the brush up towards the crystals, but not over the top of the crystals. Otherwise, they will lose their sparkle, which is totally defeating the object. I don't know why it took me so long to top coat it. <laughs> so there we go. I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then this is the finished nail. Okay, it's not the most amazing rose, but it's still a rose. And I was really quite pleased with how it turned out. So yeah. Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked this video. If you want me to try and create a rose quartz nail using the Acrogel Gelic, uh, do let me know and I will give that a go. So thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!